when to design a column as axially loaded. Referring to the floor plan shown at it can be seen that column B2 supports beams which are equal in length and symmetrically arranged. Provided the floor is uniformly loaded, column B2 will resist an axial load only, and should be designed as such. Column C2 supports a symmetrical arrangement of beams, but which are unequal in length. Column C2 will, therefore, resist an axial load and moment. However, Provided that 1, the loadings on the beams are uniformly distributed, and 2, the beam spans do not differ by more than 15% of the longer, the moment will be small. As such, column C2 can safely be designed by considering the axial load only, but using slightly reduced values of the design stresses in the concrete and steel reinforcement as outlined in BS8110 code. When to design a column as uniaxially loaded. Columns A2, B1, B3, C1, C3 and D2, supports an arrangement of beams that is clearly unbalanced in one of its axes, consequently, the moments acting on these columns becomes significant and the column may be required to resist an axial load and uniaxial bending. When to design a column as biaxially loaded. Columns A1, A3, D1 and D3. Supports an arrangement of beams that is clearly unbalanced in both of its axes, and as such should be designed to resist an axial load and biaxial bending. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe.